I was about seven years old when I learned a strong lesson about obedience. My father was out mowing the side lawn when he got interrupted by my sister who needed to go somewhere, maybe work or something like that. And I used to love watching him take that orange electrical cord and whip it to the side as he would mow clear, straight, razor sharp lines down the grass. As he got into his car to go away, the last thing he said to me was, Andrew, don't touch the lawnmower. I'll be back in a few minutes to finish up. I don't want you to get hurt. He left the mower standing underneath one of our beautiful apple trees at the house, and I went over to take a look. It looked simple enough, and I thought to myself, this is kind of going to be fun. I'll just do one or two lines. My dad will never find out. I'm sure I can cut the lawn just as straight as my dad. And besides, I'm not a little kid anymore. So I gently pushed the button on the big old General Electric mower and it started on its own. I took my place at the helm and began to push the mower across the yard, paying close attention to the lines that my father had already laid out. One line complete, two, heading for the third and zap. I ran over that bright orange electrical cord. And at once the words of my father rang in my ears. Don't touch the lawnmower, Andrew. I'll be back in a few minutes to finish up. I don't want you to get hurt. That was it. I'd done it now. I cut the cord and now somebody's gonna get hurt. When dad got home, I ran over to meet him immediately. And I, of course, I turned on the waterworks. I began to cry. I didn't mean to, Dad. I'm really, really sorry. My dad, a pretty smart guy, instead of getting angry with me, he asked, if you didn't mean to do it, then why did you do it? He was right. I did mean to do it. I did mean to push the lawn more. In fact, the problem wasn't that I tried to cut the lawn. It wasn't that I ran over the bright orange extension cord even. The problem that I had was that I deliberately decided to do what I thought was fun, what, and I disobeyed my father. My childlike, I'm sorry, had more to do with the consequences that I was about to face than the actions I took. I was sorry, but I didn't want to get punished. I was going to suffer pain. I wasn't sorry about the disobedience that I had done. Think way back to Adam and Eve for a moment. They wanted the fruit on the tree and it looked good to them. But God told them that if they ate it, there were serious consequences. They would even get hurt. They would die. Sure, you can argue that they were tempted all you want, but the choice to obey or disobey God was very simple. It was theirs alone. It looked tasty in their eyes, and they took the fruit. They made a choice, and when they saw that what they had done, they were ashamed. In fact, they wanted to hide from God, hide from the consequences of their sin. Now back to my story. Knowing that I cut the cord and that the cord was dangerous, my father went over to the lawnmower to unplug it. And when he went over to touch the handle of the lawnmower... He got shocked and he fell down to one knee. He took the shock when I deserved it. He didn't deserve the pain. I did, yet my dad suffered because I disobeyed for my sin. The Bible tells us God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. Somebody had to get hurt. I deserved it. He took it. Thank you, Jesus. So it begs the question, am I saddened, even grieved by my choice to disobey God? Or am I just sorry about the consequences that I might face? Listen, I'm glad you took the time again to watch this video. If you want to talk to someone or if you need some help right now, please send me a DM or an email at the address below. Because the truth is, you and I, we really are better together.